Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got my top 5 best high strength players in the game on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So we're looking at 5 incredible players that have stupidly high strength. I think every single one is above 90 and then I've picked from those ones my favourite 5. So these are my top 5, my opinions. Let me know what your opinions are down in the comment section below and leave any suggestions in there as well. It'd be fantastic but before we do get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you do in fact get a discount of every single one of your orders when you're at the checkout screen, which is really cool. But let's jump into this top five. And the first one is going to be none other than Pogba. Now, this guy has 90 strength. He's a fantastic midfielder, regardless of where you put him. You can put him Cam, CM, CDM. It does not matter. This guy is an absolute machine. And even with his team of the season card, I put him at striker and it even worked there. So he's a ridiculously versatile card. Very all round and very overall. Like his stats are just generally really good across the board, which is kind of what you want in a midfielder. So I can't really fault him, giving him a 9.2 out of 10. And if somehow you haven't used him, give him a try. Number four is Diego Costa, recently moved to Chelsea. Now you'll notice that with the majority of these high strength players, their agility really does suffer. So that is one downside to having high strength players. They're often not the most agile and I'd say quick at changing directions as some of the Nippier players, the players like Neymar and things like that. But Diego Costa is a fantastic player with 91 strength, 83 pace and 80 shooting. I'm giving him a 9.3 out of 10. Number three, our bronze medalist of the countdown is going to be Lucina Traore, 6'8 and 94 strength. But you can see he really suffers with that agility stat. And there are some times where Lucina does feel like a bit of a tank and you do sometimes struggle to change direction with him. I find that the only way to change direction with Lucina is to do step overs and like 90 degree angle step overs. If you're not sure how to do them, I did a tutorial on the advanced step over on my channel so you can go back and have a little look. But he gets a 9.6. I think he's a lot of fun and he's very, very good. Number two is going to be Ben Teke now. This is rare that I do this, but I'm giving the number two spot a 10 out of 10 as well. This guy... I just cannot fault him. There is no reason why he doesn't deserve a 10 out of 10. Really good agility, great finishing, ridiculous finishing in fact for an 81 rated card. 93 strength, 81 pace, 83 heading, 77 shooting. Like, this guy should not be 1k. Like, it's unbelievable. The stats he has are literally ridiculous. So, the winner though is going to be Hulk. Now, this guy, he has got everything. Imagine if his normal card was a striker. I know it's not because he obviously doesn't play there, but just imagine it would be so good. But this guy, 90 strength, 86 pace, 85 shooting. He is phenomenal. He is so good. You have to try him out in a team if you haven't already over the year. Great player. I used him in my last squad. So if you need a squad, you can go back and have a little look at that. It was the overpowered one that was 50k I believe so you can check back not the one that I just did the one before but let me know what your top five is in the comment section below leave a like if you have enjoyed the video and subscribe for some more videos from myself I'm covering everything to do with FIFA 15 when it comes out and beforehand including some news so you might want to check those out but thank you so much for watching today take care guys have an amazing day and goodbye